Hi, this is David Harper of Bionic Turtle with an example of how we use stock index futures to hedge an equity portfolio. I'll use the notation here that is given by John Hull in his book on derivatives where the formula says the number of contracts we use to hedge the portfolio is equal to the change in beta that we're trying to implement and that is here the target beta minus the current beta of our portfolio multiplied by this fraction which is the value of the portfolio denoted by P divided by the current value of the stocks underlying one futures contract denoted by A and so for example if I assume I, my portfolio is worth a million dollars and it has a beta of 1.4 so that it's me that's its measure of co-movement with the overall market or its sensitivity to systemic risk so we'll assume 1.4 and then a recent S&P index value of about 1400 it's pretty close I've rounded it off and then we need the value of a single S&P futures contract which trades on the Chicago Merck two kinds of contracts a mini but this is a standard where the price of a single contract is two hundred fifty dollars multiplied by the index so then we only need to select our target beta currently the portfolio has a beta of 1.4 I'm gonna use zero which means that I'm aiming to hedge perfectly the portfolio and so I can then use this formula and say the number of contracts is equal to open parens the target beta of zero minus the current portfolio beta of 1.4 close parens multiplied by the portfolio value of a million divided by now I just need a that's the value of one futures contract in that case in this case it's the index multiplied by two hundred fifty dollars that's per contract we don't decide that that's part of the standardized specifications of a futures contract on the Chicago Merck so I close parens and now with that formula I've implemented this here and it gives me negative four is the number of contracts that I want to take a short position in so it's negative so we know it's a short position if I take a short position in four contracts I will fully hedge the portfolio I should say under a very stringent unrealistic simplifying assumption and that is that this perfect correlation implied by the beta of 1.4 is going to if that was true historically then it's going to apply going forward there's the implicit assumption here is that the perfect correlation we assumed historically is going to be maintained going forward that's not going to be realistic so ultimately this isn't realistic and it's just an approximation but that said let's just look at an example I'll show you here of how that would work for us we shorted the four contracts and then here I just showed a few rows of different scenarios where that S&P index either goes down to for example 1200 or up to 1600 you'll notice here's the row where the S&P index value goes down under this scenario we shorted for futures contracts well it would it turns out we would profit on the futures contracts to the tune of $256,000 but the S&P index goes down our portfolio has that beta of 1.4 again we're going to assume that that re relationship is going to be maintained so our portfolio is going to drop as well well that's exactly why we shorted the contracts to hedge and under this scenario the gain on the futures is going to more than offset the loss in the portfolio and we'll end up at a million forty thousand dollars which happens to be the original value of the portfolio of a million plus four percent which is my riskless my my assumption for the riskless rate and you can see regardless of the scenario I plug in the total value of the portfolio is a million forty thousand so the perfect hedge does hold up if the S&P index on the other hand increases instead of drops I'm gonna experience a loss on the futures contracts that I shorted 
but my portfolio value is going to go up because it's got that beta 1.4 relative to the market and the index. And so the gain in my portfolio is offset, but not fully offset by the loss on the futures. But in either case, I have a totally hedged portfolio under that simplifying assumption that perfect historical correlation is going to be maintained going forward. So hopefully it's a helpful, helpful example. This is David Harper of the Bionic Turtle. Thanks for your time.